Hello everyone, it's time for a new video and today is gonna be my June wrap up. I have read 23 books and only one of them was a physical book. So I've been doing a great job at reading more physical books, but I have read absolutely incredible books and without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first book that I read is The Year of the Crocodile by Courtney Milan. So this is a novella sequel to Trade Me, which I read last month. I talked about it in my last wrap up and you know it's a novella and like not that much happens in it but it was amazing to see the main characters again and it was just really fun. The next book that I read is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. It is absolutely wonderful. It's about a queer black girl who basically enters this like competition to be the prom queen because she needs to win that to be able to go to college to get a scholarship and uh, there's a sapphic romance in it. It is so cute. I would say that the romance definitely isn't the main part of it. It is more of a coming of age story about Liz, the main character, finding herself and just loving herself and I loved this book so much. It's just such a beacon of light and joy and it's just so lovely and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. The next one that I read is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. I absolutely loved this book. Like, adored. Like, top tier, incredible, wonderful, like, it's <laughs> so good. It is absolutely phenomenal. And so this is a West African inspired uh, YA fantasy. Just, I feel like there's no way for me to describe the book to do it justice, but there is a little bit of an enemies to lovers romance in it, but it's not like classic enemies to lovers. Basically, the two main characters have to kill each other. But both of them are definitely not bad people, and I wouldn't even say that they're morally great. They have really good hearts, but they are faced with impossible decisions. And it is just so incredible and intriguing and unique, and it writes about so many important things, and it has so many important underlying messages in it, and I just, I feel like I'm not doing a good job at describing it, but it is really fast-paced and so fun and the characters are just they have so many layers and they're so wonderful and I just love this book so much and like I remember the main characters names like that means I had to love it because I don't re really remember any characters names because I read so many books the next book that I read <laughs> is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I loved this book so much and I actually read it for a video that shockingly I haven't put up yet because I'm working on too many things at the same time. This book is about a very morally gray girl whose name is Alessandra and she uh, wants to kill the king so that she can kill him and become the queen. So she is very morally gray, but I loved her so much. Like, she made so many questionable decisions, but I love her so much. And, like, deep down, she, you know, really cares about the people that she loves, and she is just so fun. And uh, the the Shadow King, whose name is Callias, again, I remember their names, like, that says it all. He lost his whole family, basically. He wants to discover who killed them and he, you know, yeah. So both of the characters have goals of their own and both of them are pretty morally gray and this is kind of enemies to lovers, but the two main characters become friends and I just, oh my god, I loved how their relationship developed so much and this book is definitely focused a lot on the romance. Like, I loved everything about this. The next book that I read is Being Hospitable by Mika James. So this book is a adult romance and it's sapphic and there's the forced proximity trope. One of the two main characters has to move in because she just you know needs a place to stay. I gave this book four stars. It was really really short. It's like 70 pages but it was really really fun and really steamy and just a really fun time. The next book that I read is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender which is a YA contemporary. This book is about a black transgender teen who is kind of trying to figure out his identity and he wants to 
fall in love. Again, this is definitely another coming of age story that is really powerful and really important. It has a romance in it, but again, it's it's not like the dominant part of the book. It is one of the most raw and real books that I've ever read, and it's filled with so much feeling and like Felix and the main characters, like, things get really messy and, you know, Felix makes some questionable decisions and everything, but, like, he is still just so wonderful and so lovable and it just makes it feel so real. And there are things in this book that, like, I've heard a lot of people talk about this book and I feel like everyone kind of agrees that there are a lot of things that happen in this book that are kind of, like, not enjoyable but everything comes together so wonderfully and it just again like I said it makes the book so real and it is just I have no words like describing it is so hard because this book is absolutely phenomenal and I absolutely gave it five stars I feel like I can't say more than that because I don't want to spoil anything but it's incredible and you should read it the next book that I read is Lumberjanes Volume 5 by Noelle Stevenson. It's the fifth volume of the Lumberjanes, which is a graphic novel series about a bunch of girls who go to camp and a lot of magical shit happens. <laughs> and yeah, there are amazing friendships in this. It's just a story about a bunch of friends who just do fun crazy shit together and I feel like that's the best way to describe it and super chill it's not like a comic book series that I want to fly through and it's not so, like super addicting that I would just want to read all of it at once but it is super nice and super chill and fun to read whenever I'm in the mood for it so yeah. The next book that I read is King and the Dragonflies, also by Casey Callender, which is a middle grade, and it's also magical realism. So the main character, his brother, just recently passed away, and he believes that he turned into a dragonfly, and so he kind of uh, goes to this place in the nature where there are lots of dragonflies, and he also runs into this boy he used to be friends with and then he stopped being friends with him because his brother told him that he shouldn't be friends with him and the main character is also gay so the main character obviously has to deal with a lot of difficult things and he's super young so he's trying to figure out who he is yeah it is a super hard-hitting and really important middle grade story so the next book is played again by aiden wayne which is a super cute kind of i would say new adult uh, romance about two boys who are both YouTubers, actually. So one of the main characters is a super popular YouTuber. He kind of does reviews of restaurants and food, and he's blind, so he also talks about whether they're accessible and things like that. And he runs into this, like, small gaming channel of a boy that, you know, is super cute and charming and he shouts him out and that, you know, makes him more famous and everything and yeah. And they start texting and they start falling in love and the other boy is actually also asexual. An absolutely amazing book that was super cute. It did move kind of slowly and I gave it four stars so it wasn't a complete five star but it was a really adorable book and I love texting and stuff like that in books and it was just super chill and sweet and I would really recommend it. The next book that I read is Love Unsolicited by Alexandra Warren which actually Mina from Mina Reads recommended. I love her so much like if you haven't checked her channel out yet you definitely need to and she does she has so many incredible recommendations like all the time she tweets about things and like recommends so much good stuff on her channel so yeah, she recommended this. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's an adult romance. It's really steamy and just super fun. Like, it is just really funny and super chill. I'm just like, I had such a good time and I laughed so many times and it was really quick to get through and I don't know how much I want to say about the plot, but basically the main character um, steals money or not necessarily steals, but like she kind of manipulates really rich guys into giving her money and stuff like that. She runs into this guy and she, you know, like takes some money from him and he like catches her doing that and he actually is like really chill about it and it's just super fun and I would really recommend it if you want something uh, super fun and quick to read. The next book that I read is Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. This is a YA fantasy where a group of characters go on this like hunt to basically find this demon who is like making a mess and killing people and like catch that demon and kill it. I gave this book three stars. I 
definitely there were a lot of things that I felt like were underdeveloped and the pacing and the plot was strange and not necessarily confusing but I was just like um yeah but the book definitely has a lot of potential and the author actually wrote it when she was 15 so I'm really excited to like continue on with this series and see where the author goes and how she grows because I think that she could write absolutely incredible books. The next book that I read is The Princess Trap by Talia Hibbert which is an adult romance and it's a royal romance and I gave this one four stars. I adore Talia Hibbert. I talk about her as often as I can. Uh, she is the queen of adult romance and this book definitely wasn't like my absolute favorite but Talia just grows with every single book that she writes and like still every single book that I've read by her is amazing and her characters are just so fun and the couples are always just they have so much chemistry. The next few books that I'm going to mention are ones that I read in the 24 hour readathon so since this video is super long I'm not going to talk about them much. If you want to hear more of my thoughts I'm going to have that linked down below and pop it up on the screen if you haven't seen it yet. So that was George by Alex Gino which is about a, a transgender girl and it's middle grade and it's really short and super sweet and really important and I loved it and I really recommend it. Then I read Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. This is a novella and it's fantasy and um, I gave it four stars. I gave George five stars. And Silver in the Wood is super interesting and just really cool and <laughs> yeah. Then I read The Wicked and the Divine by a bunch of different authors which is a graphic novel that is basically about gods who like incarnate. It's really hard to describe but the art style is super cool. The characters are really fun and I would really recommend it. Then I read Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I gave that four stars. It was, the pacing was a little bit off and it wasn't just a complete five star, but it was really fun and the, the characters were really morally gray and it was just a really good time. And then I read Motor Crush by Brendan Fletcher, which was another graphic novel that again had a beautiful art style. And again, I have no idea how to describe it, but I really enjoyed it and it was really cool and yes okay so those those are the books for the 24 hour readathon then I read Ghost Squad by Clarabel A. Ortega which is a middle grade another quite short book that is about basically it was it was pitched as Coco meets Stranger Things I have not seen Stranger Things and I feel like from what I have heard it's more towards Coco than for Stranger Things but it like has really strong Coco vibes and it's about ghosts and it's a lot about friendship and family and it's just so cute and sweet and I gave it four stars. I would say it's like a 4.5. Then I read My Lady's Lover by Nicola Davidson which is a novella and it has a sapphic romance in it. It's super steamy and really cute, super quick to get through. Then I read Rend by Rowan Parrish which I gave five stars. Holy fuck. <laughs> Roan Parish is absolutely incredible and I will definitely make a video soon on like a guide on her books because more people need to read Roan Parish. Like there this book has a male male romance in it. I <laughs> oh my god. Basically the two main characters get together at the beginning, I think it's at the beginning of the book, they get together and everything happens really quickly and like the whole book is basically about them making their relationship work and learning how to communicate and how to best like live their life together and make their relationship work that works the best for both of them. I don't think it's a spoiler alert but like if you don't want to know anything about this book then like skip this part but they never break up so I feel like that's really good to know because I would understand if you're scared of that because I definitely was. It is just so powerful and like pretty much every single one of Rowan Parrish's books deals with mental health issues and I feel like she does such an incredible job at writing such realistic and important and raw books that have really wonderful and amazing relationships in it. The next book that I read is um, To Tame a Wicked Widow by Nicola Davidson, so that is the same author that wrote My Lady's Lover. Again, super short, fun, steamy, 
historical romance that is super quick to get through. <laughs> and last, but by no means least, I read All Boys Are Into Blue by George M. Johnson. So a lot of people have talked about this book this month and a lot of people were reading it this month. This book is absolutely incredible. It's by a journalist and activist George M. Johnson who is a black and queer man and he writes about his experiences when it comes to, you know, gender and being black and queer and the intersectionality of the two of them and discusses toxic masculinity and gender roles and just it is about so many important things and it is so powerful and so important. I listened to it on audio which is narrated by the author which a lot of people have recommended that and that's why I read it that way and I really don't regret it. It was absolutely incredible. So if you can listen to it on audio, I feel like that is the best way to consume this book. It's filled with so much emotion. It will make you smile and cry and ma make you feel so many different kinds of things. And it is super important and really quick to get through. Like I could not stop reading it. Like I basically read it in one sitting because I was just so immersed in the story and especially when it was narrated by the author I was just like completely consuming the story and like listening and paying full attention to his words and it was just incredible like <laughs> it was and it's an absolute must read and uh you need to read this book like yes <laughs> so that is it for my video today if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and tell me what you read this month what was your favorite book that you read this month and that's gonna be it. Have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!